Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, I've been MIA for a couple of days. It's been a rough week. <laughs> Full of doctor's appointments. And doctor's appointments. Uh, so it started with Tuesday's um, appointment with the urologist. Where I had to go and they removed the uh, stents in the office. That was a little drastic, but... And they're out and, and, you know, after about a day or so, I, I was no longer sore. And, um, yay, the stents are out for the first time in a month. I don't have stents. So that's, that's definitely better. Uh, and then, um, Wednesday, I went to see my mental health doctor because, of course, there was the deal about the Topamate, uh, which is the generic name for, uh, t Topamax which has been my bipolar and migraine medicine since 2016. And of course, just, um, and I, and I talked about this in another video, um, but, um, apparently it, the side effect has the side effect of causing kidney stones, which, you know, I had talked about with a doctor before, but I was on a low dosage when I talked to the doctor at the time. And, um, you know, over the, over time, the dosage had creeped up. And I just, um, I didn't think of anything, anything about it until this, uh, urologist that did the, uh, kidney stone removal surgery and my hair is just blowing with the fan. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid turning on the air conditioner. Like light, light bills get really high here. So, um, but anyway, um, so I had to get my bipolar meds switched off to something else. Else, So, so she's doing a thing where she could, because she wants me to take two of the new meds, um, you know, but I, I have to take, for two weeks, I have to take one of the uh, Topamate and one of the new meds, um, you know, for two weeks, and then and then I'll uh, stop taking the Topamate and then take just two of the new meds at night, which is how I take everything. I take everything at night because I'm subject to get sleepy at pretty much any medication almost with the exception of Tylenol and ibuprofen. A lot of stuff makes me sleepy. So that's why I take everything at night. And, uh, so she, um, did, did it that way so that it would be a easier transition. Um, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And then, um, after I went to see her, I went, to see my regular doctor and um, Dr. Gibson and who I love to death. He's just such a sweet man because I've been having trouble with my tailbone. It's been, it's like sitting on a, a like a heart, like a, a spiked ball or something. It's, it's really been painful. And um, so he's, so they scheduled me an x-ray for this coming Monday. Plus he had me give, you know, he took a blood sample and another urine sample. Um, just to, you know, kind of check, make sure that the antibiotic that I finished Wednesday, uh, after I got home from all the doctors and everything, I finished it Wednesday, um, to make sure that, um, that, that, that it, that it did its job, you know, that I'm okay and that the infection is cleared up and gone. So let's hope, hope for that. And then, uh, it took an extra two days to get the, um, home health care aids, um, because what they need, what they wanted from the doctor to come and take the, um, the midline out. So this is just a little bandage that she put on there, but the midline is now gone. So I uh, no more appendages. <laughs> that's what I called it. I called it an appendage because <laughs> that's what it felt like. It's like, Oh, I got this little thing dangling from my arm uh, and it had become painful, but you know, quick as can be, once they got them orders this morning, that lady called me and, and, um, she come over here and whoopity doo and took it out. And I was like, that's all there was to it. And I was thinking to myself, you could have did that. <laughs> I could have did that. But it's better that a professional did it, of course. And she said to leave this bandage on for 24 hours. Um, so I'm, I'm just being a good patient and letting that happen. And then of course, now home health has been discharged, which is fine with me because I didn't need them to begin with. Not really. And they, they really kind of 
ticked me off because uh, when I wanted them to come switch the dressing on the, on the whole thing, because it was looking a little worse for the wear, they avoided doing that by, ha by having me send them a picture. Oh, it looks fine. Because cause I tried to tape it up when I went and took a shower and water still got in it. And it looked a little bit beat up. And I thought it should be changed out, but they didn't think so. And it's been a whole, it was a whole roller coaster as far as that midline goes. At one point, I had to go to the ER because it wouldn't, it wouldn't flush. And uh, the nurse come out and she tried to get it to flush and she couldn't get it to flush. And she said, I'm sorry, you're going to have to go to the ER. And um, so I had to go to the ER. And apparently, she had put some medicine in there that had time to work between the time that she was here and the time I got over to the ER. Because when I got to the ER... A little nurse, a young male nurse, um, got that got got to me, and and within a, a matter of minutes, he had it had it working just fine. So um, that was a quick trip to the ER and then back home. Thank goodness they didn't have to replace the darn thing for a couple of more days, you know. Um, so it's just it's it's just been quite an ordeal trying to get through this whole bacteria infection, and um, then. It was this big blow up with my oldest son last night and um, just some more drama that I didn't need. But um, that's just how it is, I guess. That's just life. Um, don't stop praying for me yet. <laughs> my health is improving. Yes. So that, that much, you know, that's prayers answered on my part and y'all's. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, but... You know, the whole family situation. I don't know what's going on with that child. I really don't. Uh, but I did get something finished. The cardigan. I got finished with that. And um, I'm going to insert a little quick little video here. It's like a, like less than 30 seconds. But, um, you know, I, I made this cardigan to go with it, a particular dress that I had bought. A little tank top dress. And so I... When I got this done earlier, I went and changed into that dress with my new white tennis shoes. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but um, yeah, I had bought some white tennis shoes um, to go with the dress because, well, I don't like dress shoes. I can only wear one kind of shoes, which is the Easy Spirit shoes that I get from Amazon because my feet are funky and uh, they're hard, I'm hard, uh, it's really hard for me to find shoes because I've got a messed up left foot. And shoes are really hard for me to find. So I found a pair, I found a style and, and brand of shoe that I can buy that fits me every time. So I just stick with that particular brand. And they're all tennis shoes. <laughs> so, okay. That's, that's what I'm going to wear. So anyway, I'm going to pause here and insert the clip. And then I'll be right back. All right. Okay, so now you can see the cardigan and how it fits with the little dress that um, I wanted to wear with it. And I think it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out pretty good. It fits It fits like I wanted it to fit. Um, so I'm now I'm going to go break it down to you in the numbers and how many stitches and how much yarn. Um, so um, let me show you. Okay, well, I got a, I got a skein of it over here in case, you, in case some of y'all might be new. I used Yarn B um s simply flawless yarn and this comes in a seven ounce 420 yards uh it is a low peel acrylic yarn and um now it this is miss n just to let you know it the label says it's a three weight yarn but it really isn't i used a six millimeter hook with mine and because it's very it's very thick yarn very thick now, uh, if you try to go too fast, this yarn will split on you. I'm, I'm a fast crocheter, but because, because my energy has been zapped <laughs> with the sickness that I've been going through, it slowed me down a little bit, so it didn't split that much. But it split sometimes. Um, but uh, this turned out good. I did uh, one, one skein, did 17 rounds 
on each half. This is, of course, a uh, hexagon cardigan because that's what I'm, I'm. That's my jam. <laughs> that's just my jam. That's what I like. But I did it kind of. Uh, I, I meant to do short sleeves, but what I ended up doing was uh, three quarter lengths. They come to about right here, my my elbow, just a, right at my elbow, which is fine. It's fine. And uh, so it's 17 rounds, 17 ro rounds as far as each half goes. And then um, once I did that, I seamed up the shoulders. Now I do a single crochet seam. I know a lot, everybody's always wondering what, what, what kind of seam do I do? I do a, a single crochet and it looks just like this. So I go through but, uh, all four loops and do a single crochet all the way down and so and i've learned after i've done quite a few cardigans um to j just seam up all the way through both sides because i'm going to add to the front and the back with extra rows so that's what i do i seam up both sides all the way all the way and then i added three rows to each half so i attach my yarn and then i and i and i go and I start from one 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 side and then I go down and around and up the other side and then I chain three and then down and, and I, I did that until I hit three rows on each side and then I seamed up the back and I did that the same way okay and when I had it seamed up then I did uh, with my sleeves I just did two single crochet rows on each sleeve that's all I did was just single crochets on it. Two, two rows of single crochet. Same thing with the collar. I just did two rows of single crochet. And on the lapels, because I, I didn't want it, because this was meant to just complement a dress, I didn't need it to be uh, like a warm cardigan or anything like that. This is just meant to be decorative, um, you know, an accent to a dress type thing. So it's just meant to just kind of hang there. And uh, so I didn't need it to meet in the middle or anything like that. So I just did uh, four rows, of, you know, well, one row of, you know, regular double crochet and then three rows of front post, back post uh, on the lapels. And so that's what I did with the, um, the lapels, you know. And then I just did a half double crochet around the bottom. And so that's what I did. That's, that's all I did with it. It's just very simple. Um, I kept it simple because I didn't. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't need anything complicated to work on, but I wanted this for the dress because I can. I can use this for that dress that I showed y'all in the clip. Plus, I can use it for at least one other. One other of the little dresses. I don't know what may put me in a dress kick, but it's summer's coming up, and um, you know, well, I just want. And, and I've lost all this weight. And, um, I just felt like being cute. You know, I saw, I saw the dresses and they weren't very expensive. And I was, I even bought a black one from, um, Amazon. But I, after feeling, after getting it and feeling it, it's probably just going to be around the house kind of dress. It's black. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm going to have to get quite a bit smaller before I'm comfortable wearing that out. Um, and I thought about, um, with the black dress. I got this uh, sparkly um, silver yarn, and I'm thinking maybe I might make me a little belt with it. I think that'd be cute. It, it's it's just a regular short sleeve dress like this one. It's got sleeves. It's got little. They're 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 shorter than on this one. It's more more of a cap sleeve, but it's it's cute. It's cute. Um, but this is this is one of my Walmart dresses. You know what's weird though? I saw a lady. I, I saw a lady Tuesday at the at the clinic where I go, went to the urologist, and she had the exact same dress. I wasn't wearing it at the time; I was wearing something else. But she was wearing this dress, this exact same color and everything, even though I think hers was bigger, because she was bigger than me, which is kind of a new concept for me. But I think hers might have been a four X. This is a three X. But uh, yeah, she she was she was quite a bit bigger, or it seemed seemed felt like she was. 
Um, but yeah, she, I was like, um, and, and I don't know if she had any shorts on, under hers, but I put shorts under mine, uh, because I'm not used to wearing dresses. And, uh, this comes like right above my knees or right, right at my knees. And I was like, and Johnny's like, you're going to wear shorts under that, right? And I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm going to wear shorts under it. And so I put some shorts under it. It took me a little while to find the shorts I wanted to wear under it. But I had some black shorts that I bought from Walmart as well for like $9. And so I put these shorts on underneath it. And uh, it worked out just fine. John and I went and um, had lunch today. And uh, my, my youngest son, John, by the way, uh, we went and had lunch at Chili's. And then we went to Joanne's. And uh, I bought some yarn, believe it or not. And then we went to Kroger and I bought some fruit. Because I am on this fruit kick. Uh, Amy over at Hooked on Wish and Crochet, she says that I'm turning into a fruitarian. Because <laughs> I could pretty much eat it for lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fruit. Fruit. Um, uh, specifically cantaloupe and honeydew. Uh, but I am eating bananas and strawberries too. So, but it's the thing that my stomach likes the most. Uh, it just, it, it, it doesn't cause me any stomach upset at all. And it does, it does, you know, satisfy my hunger and, um, you know, and it's healthy. So, you know, I can't imagine my doctor having a problem with me eating it. So, it's just, <clears throat> I have to go get it every few days because, you you know, fruit doesn't stay good for very long. And I'm, and, and right now, because my energy has been so low, I've been, um, buying the already cut up, um, cantaloupe and honeydew because, um, I don't know about y'all, but cutting up a, a, a cantaloupe or honeydew is a little bit labor intensive. <laughs> and I just haven't had the energy to do that. So, I've been buying it already, you know, cut up and everything. And so, I've been, you know, taking the easy way out and buying it that way. And, um, but hopefully soon I'll, I'll feel a bit better. And I'll buy a whole a whole cantaloupe and a whole honeydew. And, uh, you know, it'll go further. It'll go long. You know, it'll take, because I'm the only one that's eating it. So, um, it'll, it'll, you know, last me longer, hopefully. The way that I eat it, I don't know. <laughs> I like it so much. I eat, I eat it quite often. But I, I will show you the yarn I got at Joanne's. Because we went, I went there to look at this yarn that I had seen. I, I seen the thumbnail for a pitch, for a video, this Lucky lucky yarn. And then I looked on um, Joanne's thing and it, and it was showing this bamboo yarn. And it was, said it was a three weight. And I was like, well... After the experience with the yarn bee yarn, I was like, I really want to put my hands on it to see if it's an actual three weight or could it be another situation like this yarn bee yarn. And so I wanted to go look at that and see, you know, what the deal was. Because I didn't, I didn't want to order it through the app and then get it and say, oh, it's too thin for me to use. You know what I mean? Because um, three, three weights typically are too thin for me to use. And so I got there and... Um, and it was too thin. It was it was a regular three weight. It was beautiful yarn though. Oh, it was, uh, they had lots of colors. They had some solid colors. They had some striped colors. It was really beautiful. They had lots of it. And they finally in my store have that carousel yarn. But I felt all the different colors, and I just really didn't care for the texture of the yarn. So I didn't buy any of that. Uh, but then we were actually starting to leave, and I ran across a yarn that I had seen uh, Juan, the Yarn Addict show on his uh, his channel. And I was like, hmm, you know, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> so I wasn't sure that I was going to, you know, be into this yarn, but and specifically this color. But when I picked it up, I was like, oh my goodness, I really like it. And so, and it was on sale. It's apparently normally $12.99 a skein which is outrageous, but, uh, they had it on sale for $8.99, plus I had a $5 off if you had buy $35 or more, and that's this Burnett Lattice, and yes, black, can you believe it? Black, me? Black? Yeah, but I just, I, I looked at the other colors, and I was like, you know, those are nice, 
but I really like this is the one I was drawn to the most and uh, I, 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 I'm gonna make a cardigan out of it <laughs> now it is a kind of a thin four you know but it has all these other colors um you know mixed in with it it's not just a straight you know solid black it's got this other stuff mixed in with it and uh in case y'all i'll read the specs for y'all it is considered a four weight yarn they recommend a five millimeter crochet hook and knitting needle uh it is 54 percent polyester 28 percent acrylic 18 percent nylon it's a 7.8 ounce uh skein uh, 220 grams, uh, four, uh, it's not 400, 389 yards, and, uh, two, 356 meters. Um, let's see if I can find the color. This is, the the color is called charcoal. Now, they did have a turquoise one, but they didn't have an actual red, red one. They had one that was, that had some reddish tendencies, but, and they had, and they had this real pretty purple one that I was really tempted, but I, I don't, didn't want to break the budget so i just bought four of this one so um i just bought one color for a project i didn't you know want to break the bank <laughs> maybe if i find it cheaper i might buy m more colors next time but i just bought this one um uh, because there it, it if you look that i mean there's you know other colors you know you can see other colors in there you know mainly it's got this um uh, I guess that's an off-white color. I don't know. It almost looks like a ribbon. But um, I'm not mad. It's really soft, though. It's really soft. It's a bit of a thinner a thinner four. So it's probably going to be a... I don't know. I'll just have to play with it and see um, if it's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook situation or a 5 millimeter situation or if it could take... if Or if I could tolerate it with a 6. It just depends. Um, goodness, why did that weird muscle cramp but um i like it i like it and um uh, john of course was the voice of reason he said mom do you really have the money for more colors and i was like you know what <laughs> you're probably right we should probably be more conservative so we just bought four of this one and uh so it, it's, it's still a fairly new yarn uh but it does it, it it literally does look like there's like a ribbon that's intertwined with with the black so it's really interesting it's very interesting um i'm not going to take it and dissect it like some folks are, are confident enough to do but um i think it'll make a really nice um uh, cardigan i think it'll be real pretty so that's what i because I, I said I, I you know sitting was kind of thinking okay how much yardage did i need for this one and i used three skeins of 420 yards uh, each and i had a, I, I, excuse me and this is what I got left out of the third. So, I probably bought too much of this, but that's okay. We'll see what I got left. I may do a longer cardigan than I did with that one. I may do just a regular, you know, a waist length one. This one was, you know, I, I made a cropped um, cardigan. So, it's different. You know, I made a different one. Uh, I didn't do a full, full length cardigan. Uh, now I probably still will uh, do the sleeves short or shorter sleeves, you know, uh, because it'd be for summer, you know. Plus, I don't like a lot of long sleeve stuff, but um, definitely I'm doing something a wearable with it because it's really nice and soft, and you know, it's wearable quality stuff. So uh, I, I I think I'll enjoy working with it as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make another cardigan with that. Um, I hadn't got back to the hat yet, <laughs> the bucket hat that I started. I'll get back to that. Now that I have that thing out of my arm, it should be a little easier to do to finish things now. Um, I did have to break out my little wrist brace earlier with, with all the post stitches I was doing. But um, I just, um, we just finished having thunderstorms and stuff. And so the weather's still kind of in the area. So I figured it was just, oh, arthritis giving me trouble. And I'm still a little worried about Axel. He's not eating as good. He's lost a little weight. But uh, I'm hopeful that uh, this coming week, I'm going to call probably. Uh, th they should be open tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, his his vet office is open tomorrow. I'll call tomorrow and uh, see about getting an appointment for next week. 
and get him over there and get him looked at. And uh, may, they might be able to just give him a steroid shot for whatever's going on with him and get him back going. Um, but uh, he's, he's just, um, he's not doing well. He's had a couple of incidents of losing his control of his bowels. And um, he's just not doing good. My axle is not. Uh, but Rita really don't know how old Axel is. And we just might be looking at an end of life situation. I just don't know. Um, it's pretty heartbreaking. Um, I'm used to him being a low energy dog. and But he still would follow me from room to room. And now he's just kind of, you know, planting himself in, in wherever area he won't, feels like planting himself. And then he's, he, he just won't move for hours. And that's really not like him. He's usually a bit more active than that. And uh, I've given him some doggy aspirin, and that seemed to help a little bit. But he really hates my delivery method, the putting him in the back of his mouth. <laughs> and so that's been a little bit hard. I really don't like having to do that to him. Um, and he's thrown up once or twice. So it's, it's, I just don't know what's going on with him. So i got to take him to the vet. And pretty soon, now that my, my health situation seems to be uh, improving... Um, we, we got to get some other things back on the, back on the books and back, you know, on track, especially with, I got to call, uh, email that lady about the Zoom meeting that, that I had to cancel while I was in the hospital with John's thing. Uh, so we have a Zoom meeting and then we have a, we, I, I got something in the mail today. I got to fill out and take in and, um, it's just more stuff, but, um, that's okay. We'll get there. Um. But uh, anyway, I just want to let y'all know what was going on with me and uh, show y'all my little cardigan and um, show y'all the little yarn that I bought, whopping four skeins. I know it's not my usual, but um, I did warn y'all. <laughs> but uh, it's just one of those things. I'm just pushing through and doing my best. But... Um, I'll probably try to make a top pretty soon. I, I really need to, you know, come up with a top, a, a, a summer top or something. Um, maybe I'll try that t-shirt thing that uh, Tiffany Hansen did. I, I really like how that came out when she, you know, was showing it. Um, I'll use this cotton yarn that I got from Hobby Lobby and do her t-shirt soon, I think. Um... I just got to go watch that video again and see see how she did the measurements. I think she you could probably take one of your regular t-shirts that fits you real good and uh, measure that and use that as a guide. I think that would probably be a good idea and uh, do it that way. But um, anyway, I'll probably I'll probably make me one of them and show you all the progress and show you know and show you all that. Um, I don't know. I'm open to ideas. Um, I don't know. Maybe a summer blanket. I don't know. I've been using my old... <laughs> uh, uh, last year's... Uh, was it last year or year before uh, that I did another Granny Square blanket a tur with all the turquoises and, 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 and a brown. I've been using that to sleep under here, here lately with a sheet. And um, that's you know, working out pretty well, but, um, anyhow, that's about all I got right now, um, hopefully everybody's having a good Friday night, um, I'm gonna turn on some good TV, and, um, I don't know, probably go to bed early, <laughs> I didn't sleep too good last night, um, too much on my mind, and too much stress, I think, but, um, please remember that I love y'all, and so does Jesus. And please remember to adopt. Don't shop. Your best friend's waiting on you at the shelter or the rescue. And I'll see y'all again soon. Bye now.